probably what I'd lose in the, load in the second slot. So it's kind of a neat system here for the consumable healing. Uh, then we've got that. There's the codex that'll keep popping up some hints and things, but who cares about that? Our little quests. Um, we can go straight to the power, but we might want to... Yeah, this deliver to Adelaide, and we can speak to the vicar. Let's go ahead and do, like, the small grave matter side quest over here. So these people, we need to collect their burial fees. Uh, that sounded pretty important. I like that Silas guy at the door. He seemed nice. So we're going to go and activate that and pop out and see what we can do. So we have a bunch of little blips to follow all over the place. Let's pick one that's a little closer. <laughs> oh, she's an interesting lady. Hey, Esther. I've got some time. I love her hair. I mean, holy shit. The, like, multiple colors going on here. This is not just a generic green dye. That is really good hair. And, I mean, the swoop, like, she, I mean, she's got this whole sort of, like, fuck off, I don't care attitude about life. That's someone who spends, like, 20 minutes blow drying with, like, the, the round brush to give that that volume in there. Oh, and it works so good. I'm, I got hair jealousy. Uh, what you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice it's Department of well Human Resources. Together. Fuck off, look. Yes. A lot of effort put into looking like she doesn't care. And the makeup's good, too. Good smoky eye. Like, oh, man. All right, she'll come up again later on. There's actually quite a lot to this town. Barbershop. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Conrad. Please don't How touch How do all these anything. people have such good fucking hands hair? Are probably I mean, he's a barber, so I guess there's that. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Hmm. Dumb. Listening to you make my head hurt. This is what happens when you eat with your fingers. Also, I bite my fingers. When I'm I eat Conrad. Like that. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. I guess that's why one you has will such good also hair. Report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. So, historically, barbers were responsible for that kind of thing, cleaning like dead bodies and things. Um, I was just reading when I was in, in Berlin at the uh, the German History Museum. They're talking about different classes of people in different cities and things like that. And yeah, like barbers were were part of the sort of like like unclean class of people because yeah, they dealt with like dead bodies and shit. The whole thing. Um, prepare my remains for what? Burial in the my unfortunate leftovers? event of a fatality. I have in doggy bag. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Speaking of burials, Silas sent me to collect your fee. Ah, gravesite fees. Yeah, Silas led by and leeches I have talked about too. this at yeah, night. They're also dentists. I yeah. thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't understand a word you said. I think that's not even a dumb option. I think that's just their period. I mean that I can't possibly pay my gravesite fees. Oh, you have to pay. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Uh, that's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. Thank you, no. I despise the cereal. Oh, I like cereal! Tell Especially Silas the one with lots of sugar. I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Should I twist an arm now? Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Good teeth, yeah. Well, wow, there's there's a whole there's a whole plot line in this game about toothpaste. So yeah, people have pretty good teeth in this. Um, I let you know if I think of anything. Oh, no, probably Much obliged. I won't. Unless I break into your back room over here and read some stuff about this body. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. So that's suicide. Suicide is destruction of corporate property. 
Eugene was an asset and someone has to pay his body price. It's gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene has a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down uh, his family or something. You're processing the body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Billis G. Okay. No witnesses. Stealing is not so bad in this game. Like, you can actually get away with a surprising amount of stuff. Uh, he would witness me stealing from there. What can I do for I you? I found these gold teeth! Hold on, where's the screen? Um, I have a little bit of medical skill. It's true. Um... Close the door, that's true, I could do that. Uh, which one? One or two? Two, two, one, two, 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 two. Yeah, okay. Sound like you have some training. I know a thing or two about medicine and cutting oh? off body parts. Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice certified surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Oh, okay. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? Me can read! I found a note from Phil. Uh, dumb. Shrug. Were mm -hmm. you snooping around in my things? Or was it just dumb luck? That second one. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took poor them to his Poor dental hygiene grave. as a family heirloom. Uh, he won't miss them. That's I even take someone's ship when they Eugene's dead. Body don't matter. And all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I don't know. Can uh, you? Are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, I don't speak rhetorical. Gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask grandpa. Silas to dig up those teeth. <laughs> it's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. I don't care. Just give me money. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay, goodbye. Look at that. Igor's learned to lock doors. Although, is Parvati going to open them? Nope. Okay. We'll just steal all that. So the game, the uh, the loot's not flagged as stolen or anything like that. So we can sell them or do whatever. We'll go ahead and throw it in here. So we've got a light assault rifle, long gun skills, uses heavy rounds. So there's light, heavy, and energy rounds. And then we can just hit people with sticks as well. That seems to work pretty well. Okay, that one's outside. I think the other two are from inside the town here. So we'll try to track them down. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Who you talk to? Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Damn, man, your face looks you almost as bad Thompson, as mine. I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. That sounds exactly like someone who doesn't have the plague What would say. Yep. Uh, perception? Nah. I heard you muttering to yourself. Didn't nobody ever tell you to never impress yourself between a man and his muttering? Which is, by the way, a normal and oh, healthy yeah, we might be able mode to of expression. Stuff too. Um, I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You I heard something that. about plague. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You oh, know how words that, that makes sense like to strange me. when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and... Possibly no, for I'm Iron Captain Hawthorne, uh, not a Hale. Good turn for an expiring old man. Uh, what do you need? Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. 
That's all. I like stories. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got. I played anyway. some of it, Axel. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Okay. He told you me to do a thing, so I'm gonna do a thing. Haste. I think I feel the place no, spreading. Yeah. Oh lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Oh, <laughs> right in his spleen. Uh, by the way, I'm here to collect your gravesite feeds. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, you I got my gravesite feeds right setting. here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Okay. Sounds good to me. Not at all dubious in any way whatsoever. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. <gasps> good hair girl! Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. Spacer's choice. I'm pretty actuary. dumb, but I'm pretty sure we met I about two seconds talk ago. With Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. I don't think about much, actually. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Okay, if you say so. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Uh. Okay. Have it your way. I'm doing right by the town. I'll tell you that much. You we're we're not dumb enough. We're not smart enough to challenge to people right on things. People. I mean, we're going to take some of the skill checks, but especially some of the dialogue options, even though I have some points put in there, because there's going to be some times when I'm going to want to use some, like, charmy kind of stuff. But generally speaking, we're just going to be too dumb to challenge people based on what they say. We're going to assume they're telling us the truth. Okay, I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. That hair, I'm so trustworthy. Like, maybe we'll just trust people based on how good their hair is, or how good their hat is. Which is why Dobson in here- where am I going now? Oh, Phyllis Granger is in here. Um, which is why Dobson, he's got a great hat, so we also have to listen to exactly what he says. So this is the Saltuna cannery, although it's not running right now. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. You should do the skill checks in female characters because you're a smug, swab bastard. Uh, my name not Tenderfoot. Uh, great sight fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Uh, these papers don't have your name. Because they're not my fees and not my grave site. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Um, you have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law... I'm not familiar with anything. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's no, closest tenderfoot. living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Yeah. Eugene was closest a good Closest living relative has to pay your fees if you can't. What a fucking system. Yeah, we know this is the guy who shot himself, but... Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. I like stories! Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most hey, reliable. Hey, they're 30% less likely to misfire now. I heard that earlier. Um, must be an awful thing to say. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. Familiar with boards. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Fucking vandalism. Uh, what are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. What if you didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming. I can't say the game makes me laugh or feel we bad. That only, it's like you have to laugh. It's because it's All like I know it's too Silas real. Asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved it's for burial. It's so close to how some things could work. Through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Okay. Thank you for paying Bill. Sorry, Pavati. Can't let you see my criminal activities. Ah! She opened the door! Ooh! Much ammo. 
I like poke on these computers, read other people's like files and things like that. There's so much text and it's great. Here we go, we just did a hack over here. Tenderfoot, hey, her name is Tenderfoot. Or that's her password is Tenderfoot. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, don't report the deaths, blah, 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 blah. There's so much, like if you play this game, like when my run through, I'm reading everything and it's fantastic. All right, so we only have uh, one more debt to collect on. Although perhaps before we leave town, um, we're gonna do the long tomorrow. The cash of medicine. Oh, that's in the community center. That's also outside of town. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep following up the uh, small grave matter then. That's gonna be all right. Well, and Utini Corp would take him to pointers in the spacer's choice. Yeah. You can press Z outside the door so they stay outside. Oh, right. It's like, no, don't follow. Yeah. Mm, it's a bad guy on my map. Two bad guys. Okay. Where is we? We're here. We got to go around back. I guess I could have cut through. It may be fat. Nah, it's fine. We'll just walk around this way. I was going to say, I could go back into town, just walk through town. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Are these graves? Oh, yeah. Look at this. I guess they're still surface like this because they're easy to access. And like, um, uh, what is it like? Evicted. And get evicted from the grave. These gardens? I don't know, just crates or something? All right. All right, we're going to make an awesome dude over here. He's a little bit crazy around the edges, which is why I like him. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now every they Sunday come noon. once a month. I love the wind here. Aw. I love you, Pavardi. You're awesome. I will hug you and pet you and squeeze you and call you George. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? I've swung a lot of Let things. Let me see your rifling stance. And truncheon sounds like I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh... You okay? I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, well, fuck me. Oh, they mean to. Ah. Just you wait. Oh, I like the subsurface so scattering of light in here. It's kind of, it's a little odd here, but forged in the it is cool that they did the skin textures that way. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? I don't know, maybe. Or Do I have a cot? Shoulder to shoulder with the resistance. Yes, that one. Uh, what can we do to stop the coming apocalypse? You can gird yourself in the armor of my loins are fully soldier. girded. From this moment on, you armor are of righteousness a proud gives you plus five of the resistance. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. Oh, Jeremy! The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off. Okay, I'll use a sharpie. Back. Um, also, uh, you owe gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Um. <laughs> this actually sounds dumb enough that I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I sure did. He's asking for a little more to uh, furnish resistance with the uh, mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Yeah, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Okay, I leave you be. Let's go and take care of this mechanical here. Uh, die, robot. Dude is dumber than you. Yeah, like it's just. Can I check this house. Ooh, ammo. Yeah. Mag locks. Uh huh. What do we have here? Nickel pads. Zero G brew. Mmm. Tartarus sauce. I go with fish sticks and a little tartarus sauce. Uh, it would cost me two maglocks to open this up. I'm gonna save my maglocks for now, um, because we might use them to like pick open doors or something later. 
Die robot. That's German for the robot. Oh. Is it anyone who speaks German can't be bad? Right, is that the line from The Simpsons? Die, bark, die. Save the potion, you'll need it later. Yeah. I'm so bad about hoarding stuff. Aw, oh, he ain't no threat. Bet I could fix him up smart. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to give it a good smack. <laughs> Engineering plus dumb equals hit things and they start working. Ooh, ow, could you not? I mean, it's a mechanical, sure, but that just seems... Percussive mm. maintenance. Navigation systems operational. See, it always works. Hit things until they either detected. work or stop Initiating completely. Initiating self-diagnostics. Hang on a sec, guys. Sorry guys, the main phone line rang. This is my, not my normal streaming time, so people think that I'm reachable. My main phone line rang. I looked, it was like, oh, it's my dad. It's probably okay, I'll call him back later. And then my cell phone rang. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to answer it now. So, um, do, 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 do. There you go, optimal path to an repair bay detected, initiating self-diagnostics. I'd say good luck, I guess. It's gonna be fine. Boom. And da, 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 da. I guess, oh, we can go back to Ludwig. Yeah, let him know we've dealt with the robotic menace. <laughs> Unfortunately, we dealt with it the wrong way for from Ludwig's point of view, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's still 45 minutes from work hours. That's the thing, exactly. Like he, my, my dad knows I stream at two. So he's like, oh, it's not two yet. And if he's calling back to back, and I actually had a meeting with him this morning about some stuff and it was like, okay, this is could be important. Bring us honor, soldier. All right. Uh, you don't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs. I did beat it. Pulled That's its true. Cables out its head Just case. beat it. Mm. Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. All right, point me to this legion guy. He sounds like a jerk. An equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. I could just strike them. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. It's probably covered in piss. <laughs> you hid your secret weapon in the lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Okay, I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Level up. Okay, so we got ten more points available for our skills. Where we want to put them short term? Um, actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put at least three points in medical. There we go. So we can unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler. That's pretty nice. Um, while I'm thinking of going a low stealth run, it will be very convenient to at least get the lock picking up to twenty, so that things that only need one mag lock are actually free to mag to open. That will really let us go a lot further with that. So we'll do that for now. now this brings our sneak up to twenty. Attacking unaware enemies while crouched deal bonus damage. Yeah, no, it's not a stealth run. Um, do we just want to like then just dump points into melee, hit things harder? Needs more intimidate. And there is that. Um, actually, what might be handy. We could at least go and bring up our dialogue so that we hit the 20 point uh, break point for everything. That's not too bad. It's also fairly efficient and we'll open up a few different possibilities for us. Yeah. 
Maybe what we can do, we can consider um, maxing the dialogue group to 50. Um, with the 